Now, what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video. And today we'll continue working on our search results. So we already have a pretty, eh, pretty primitive version of our search results ready, um, but we still need to do some form of tweaking. So let's go to the screenshot. And if we zoom in a little bit, we see that the image somehow has a corner radius and that it has a specific aspect ratio. And I just wanted to, you know, uh, make sure that it has a proper aspect ratio and the proper border radius before we continue. So let's go back to our um, search result element. Oh, and I totally forgot there's a warning. We need to remove that. Um, <laughs> you know, so sometimes like when I'm talking and writing, I just totally forget what I can see in the console here. Um, but let's just go to our uh, CSS file and let's just say this is our business image. And I actually looked the dimensions up on the Yelp website. So when I looked, it was 210 pixels and the height was also 210 pixels. And um, we had a, a corner a border radius. So we need to set the border radius property of four pixels. Okay, and let's go back and let's just say class name equals then styles and then let's use the class we just created business image. Okay, that should do it. And we want the 210 pixel version. So bear in mind, like right now, we get a square image from this placeholder website. So theoretically, there's no really, not really like a need to specify this. But since we're going to fetch the images later on from the API, let's just, uh, you know, freeze the aspect ratio right on so that we don't have any problems later on. Yes. So that looks much nicer, like we have the proper sizing and some corner radius. So let's continue with the second part. Uh, the second part is this business info. And with business info, I mean this part here. So like some heading, uh, some rating as well, and uh, some tags. Okay, so that shouldn't be too hard. This one is probably just some uh, title. So we already have the documentation up. So if we go to documentation and then it is title. And we also use that again, but I just wanted to show it to you again. Um, if we give our H1 or H2 the class subtitle, uh, then we will have like a, a proper styling or like a proper sizing. So let's get back to our uh, code editor and let's replace this paragraph here uh, with a div. And let's just say, okay, we call this, um, yeah, maybe business info, okay? Oops, what happened? <laughs> Accidentally. Yes, let's just say uh, styles, styles, and then business info. Okay, so right now we don't have anything in here, uh, but this will change soon because we can just go to our, uh, Boma documentation, we can just copy this and we can paste it. And please don't forget to replace class uh, with class name. And um, well, what was it? So it's numbered first of all. So you have first, uh, second, third, and then you have BBI Berlin Burger International. <laughs> just doing some advertisement for them, but that's fine. Um, yeah, maybe let's leave the number out for now uh, because we don't know like at what position this item will be displayed. Maybe let's just uh, say burger place. Okay. Uh, nice. So here it is. Burger place. And uh, this is our text. So that's okay. And in the next, so next up, we have this rating. Um, let's do that later. Let's first get the basic structure done. So I'm just going to put in a placeholder and call it rating. 
And the next thing that we have in here is the indication of how pricey it is and some tags. So the indication on how pricey it is, that should be pretty easy because we can just go in here and can say, okay, let's just add two. Yeah, actually we should add dollar signs here, right? It's just because we search for the land that it's showing like euros. And yeah, so let's add these dollar signs in here. And we also need a couple of tags, right? Something like uh, burgers, fast food, these kind of things. And fortunately, we can, we already have these tags element, these tag elements here in Bulma. So we can just go to tags under elements. And here we see that it's just a span that has the class tag. So that's pretty cool. Super easy and straightforward. So let's add a space in here and let's just paste this. And of course, this is also some sort of hard coded uh, placeholder because later on we need to create these tags dynamically. But let's just add two maybe. Yeah. Okay, nice. So we have our dollars, uh, we have our tags, and here's our heading. So that looks like quite okay, I would say. Um, now, what looks a little bit off though, is that here it's a little bit like we need some kind of proper spacing here right so somehow it's not really like nicely aligned and first of all we should have a little bit of space in between uh, the business info and the image itself so let's just go back and say to our css file and then we could either say margin right something or we say margin left here so actually it doesn't really matter so we can say margin right one uh, one ram maybe just to give it a little bit of room to breathe and this is pretty cool yeah that's nice and what's also a little bit what's also what also looks a little bit off in my opinion is that the tags we have right now, that there is this weird um, spacing. Because in here, it should actually have a little bit of space, right? So I think one way to work, to work around this would be to just, yeah, add a space maybe in between. So let's go back to our thing. And if we add a space, since we are inside a paragraph, yes. Then we have a little bit of spacing. So we will take care of that uh, in a second because right now we don't have any dynamic tags. So we're, going, we're soon going to talk about how to do this if we have uh, yeah, real data, dynamic data. Cool, so what's still left is this address data field here. Mm, let's just see what we can do about that. So somehow, it has this uh, phone number and then it has some address. So let's just hard code some phone number in here. So let's first of all create a div. And in here we can just add some phone number. So I don't know, plus four, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's not a valid uh, German phone number though, but that doesn't really matter right now. And then we can say uh, example street, example street uh, five. And then we need some zip code. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe. I think it's always five digits in Germany. And then you have the city Berlin, okay. So if we go in here, yes, we see that we have some text here at least, uh, but the text is kind of big. So what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit smaller and also make this business info part a little bit bigger because otherwise it looks so cramped. Uh, but I already see that we almost hit 10 minutes. So let's just uh, 
continue working on this in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so.